Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys on this beautiful Sunday morning. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, I am making a Sunday morning TA video hmm. with a beautiful, amazing, tasteful cup of coffee looking at the charts. Today's video will be short but really powerful. It's a beautiful, powerful Sunday video. We have five charts I haven't shown you before and they all kick ass. They all are about to be or not to be. Be or not to be. Let's jump quickly into the charts to give you this amazing Sunday feeling. From here, Albufera in Portugal. Let's jump. Bam! This, of course, you already recognize. This is my Aurox setup. Look, beautiful the chart over here. This is the 30 minute chart. Beautiful here, the order book. That's also amazing to see. Here, if you go a little bit down, you scroll down, you can see the depth chart. You can see the market overview. And I still have some other charts down below here. That is why I like Aurox. I can set up my whole beautiful workspace like I want. Now, this huge push yesterday, that everybody thought was go to, going to 24k that didn't happen of course to 24k um, like i said that i didn't believe that would happen to 24k but that's not what i want to say because let me play um, this green area we broke above it and that's a beautiful area to break above it because every time we go into this area we or find support or we did bam below it and then come back and then we break above it if we are able to stay above this green line so for example, test it and then go up to this red line and then reject it probably and then try to come into this box again where we will go sideways. Sideways, why sideways in this red box? Because we can see every time we get into that red box, we do that, you see? And that is why I expect now again, I expect us to get into that red box. I want us to get into the red box. That's not expecting I want us, but, but to become bullish because else we can still go down. You can also see on this chart, um, yeah, that's kind of um, kind of a channel forming, but it's not really um, a channel yet. But we can take those lines over there and do it like this, for example. And then you can see that that channel, if that would be a channel, would lead indeed into that red box because we would go to the top of the channel because we went to the bottom over here. We went, we went to the bottom over here, top over there, came back to the mid of the channel, top, bottom, maybe back to the mid, maybe, you know, these channels, you never know, but for me, I always try to create those channels so I can see, ah, what, what is that next move of Bitcoin? I want to see the next move of Bitcoin, ah, did he, the next move of Bitcoin going up like that I drew on the charts. That's why it does not work. So let's see if that is going to happen um if we are going to take a look at oh no we can do it on the same chart guys like what the bam bam indicator is telling us um okay we will put on this one over there then we can see how we would have traded that chart let's see this is a half hour chart so that's a 30 minute chart let's see if the bam bam told us this exactly there was a long call over here long flag plus a candle closing above the yellow stepping line both at the same time that's the first indication of taking a long that's a warning sign okay we are going to see a long the bam bam already crossed above the one line one candle before early warning so one two confirmations now let's go into this screen to see how many confirmations we get over here see I'm going to put it a little bit more clear that you can see then we go into this screen we have over there green line the green hills are big and there is a green dot the green line is on top also very positive perfect would be green orange red 
but green on top and red in the middle and then orange also a good confirmation so we have one two three four and five because the closing is, is the second one five confirmations of taking that long on that 30 minute chart so if you would have taken that long that would have been a profit of around let's say you step in a little bit late to the short flag now would already be a profit of 5.3 percent with a leverage of 10 a 50 percent now we would be in a short would we already take the short at the moment no why not because i'm going to show you yes we have a short flag no not a closing down below this yellow stepping line so that's not a sign of a short no ah, the bam bam did cross yes over there but we bounced a little bit but that's the only sh sign that we should take the short and there is a lot of green over there but the red line is on top which is also two confirmations for me not enough to take that short i want to see that candle closing down below the stepping line before i take the short and in my opinion if we touch that beautiful area over here again then um, you know it will be a short with not too many pro too much profit if you go back into that green area we would go to this level with the short and that level would be a short from let's say there to about there so it's a three percent short we can take okay i hope you uh, enjoy that one if you want to trade all this and want to use the indicators go to the bitcoinfamily.com you will find all the information how to sign up how to trade how to use them you will have some videos over there as well links to the videos how you can learn to use those indicators and bam if you want to help us yes then trade on bybit for example use these special offer links that you can see down below my videos you will get a two thousand six hundred dollar at the moment not a thousand but two thousand six hundred dollar on bybit you will get a fifty percent bonus on prime xbt you will get a small bonus on machina trader and oryx trading platform you need to sign up with this link to get even access to the bam bam and the tiktok indicator yes do that down below here it also has a $300 bonus and Binance of course has also always bonuses when you use our referral links to sign up guys please do so because we use the fees to um, help poor people all over the world bam next chart this is the chart I drew yesterday I'm just gonna show it again because I told you guys yesterday dip we come up we come down or we break down below the level and then we see on the 25th another dip 25th of July or we go up first and we three test we try to break the 200 and then come down because we seem to dip every time on the 25th for the last eight months okay why do I think now that there is a chance that we could go up instead of down to the 24k I'm going to show you bam over here this is a very important one if you look at this chart you can see the inflows the inflows of US dollar theater into the market and you can also see the price reaction to that so now let's take a look the inflows here at this moment that was the 18th october 2020 huge peak of inflow of us dollar theater into the market huge peak 18 october do you see what happened with the price it went hugely up ba -ba 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 -ba. that was the run every time that there is a huge peak or inflow the price reacts positive now if we look to this one over here also april march huge peaks which drove the price hugely up now let's see what happened now do you see this huge green peak this huge green peak even went higher than all the other green peaks so the inflow was hugely over there and that's the number of transfers of tether not all coins tether so i'm waiting now for the reaction because if you see that over here a little bit later the price goes up every time when you see these inflows a little bit later the price goes up so every time so you see the inflow a little bit later the price should go up something is cooking like we say that over there guys because there is something why these tethers are being float into those exchanges now let's jump in the last few charts these are the most important charts of today because i really like what they tell me let's see bam yes <clears throat> this is where we start with i will take make my face a little bit smaller yes i just like to have my face on the screen so i can see if everything everything is okay with recording all the stuff 
this is of course also showing that the number of accumulation addresses means the number of people accumulating Bitcoin is going up. So since the price has been going down, the amount of people accumulating Bitcoin is going up. This is very bullish in my opinion, very bullish, because people still do believe in the bull and that's why they start to accumulate at these levels. That is why the number of people accumulating is going up. You can also, bam, see this here. This is the number of new addresses. We have never seen a huge amount like this in new addresses created. New people into the market. So this is showing us new people into the market. This is showing us new people are accumulating more than uh, before. All bullish. And then we have this one over here. Bam. Really <laughs> cool chart. This is, uh, I think I found it on the tweet of uh, Plan B. He's saying uh, it's a long time overdue that we saw 20% uh, day growth in Bitcoin. This was the last time and this was the last time. 20% growth. So that the price grew in one day with 20%. That's that one and that one. That's in 2017, July. This is month 7 in July. And this was, I think, in... I uh, must, must not lie, I think it was uh, December. Yes, I think this was month 12. This one. So, we haven't seen that huge growth anymore. Look, not here, not there, not there, not there. Even March, we didn't go above that. Yes, we saw one huge minus 40, that one. And we have seen that one, you know, there, huge drops as well. But this needs to be again a one candle a huge daily candle 20 percent growth above that line we are overdue but it happened in 2017 during the bull run in july and in december july and in december which month is going to come july next chart guys this is the last chart of this beautiful sunday bam look beautiful chart where is my face on this one here exactly in between two halvings and um, these charts i really like because on this chart, you can see how many all-time highs we created during a bull run. So in this one, we had the halving over there. And then in total, we had 52 new all-time highs. 52 till the top from the halving. Here we had the halving again. And then in 2017, we had 74 all-time highs in the run to the top. And now, since the halving, we had 30 all-time highs till the top. 30. This is not the top. Do you understand? Do you see how these dots were all stacked up on each other all the way to the top? All stacked on each other. All stacked on each other. This doesn't look like stacked on each other. There still need to be a few white dots that will go above that 100k level, in my opinion. I just started to edit the video guys and I realized I forgot one chart. I'm going to do that chart now. Uh, yes, not a beautiful background because I'm already at my editing place. I'm still at the same place, but here I edit my videos a little bit more in the shadow. Um, so let's jump into that chart because that chart is a must see of course as well. And that chart that is this one, bam, here. Yes, beautiful chart, yeah, Didi. And this chart is of course, the chart that everybody is talking about this is the wake off or wake off accumulation reaccumulation chart and on this chart you can see very clearly that we could be following that path look at red line this was sent me to me by twitter i think yesterday so it's a beautiful chart and i don't know who to give credits but the one who sent me thank you for sending me chart just uh, tweet or something that I shared your video or your shot in my video and then I will retweet it or whatever to give you the credits guys um, but look this face is almost perfectly coming to completion like going down coming up going down coming up going down coming up going down coming up can you see a red line that's almost perfectly doing what that pattern shows us that it should be doing I know that there's not beautiful all those thick yellow lines but this here was the important part this drop needed to be lower than that drop 
or this one, considering which one it was. And that was lower. And then we should go to that level. And then we should find support in this level over there. And we did find support at that level. And now this chart is showing we should be moving up to this level. And that level at the moment is 36,500 US dollar. Then a short pullback, and then again a run to there. And now that we are then entering phase D, phase D would bring us back to the 40K level, uh, where we would be going sideways a little bit, around 42, 43, before we go back to that 50K level in phase C. This chart, that is the chart everybody is talking about and looking at, because when we went bearish, we also followed the same pattern, but then the other way around. So just turn the chart, and then we went that way to the bottom where we are now. And now they are telling us, okay, maybe we would be following the chart again to the top over there. Beautiful chart and a beautiful thought for this Sunday. Maybe we will be doing that. So we'll take another, what is the date over there? Uh, July 21 to complete phase D and be above that 40k area during this beautiful month of July when we all enjoy our holidays, well-earned holidays on the beach. I hope you really enjoyed the charts. I hope you now understand what it means to be or not to be. I hope you understand what it means to hollow. I hope you are not freaking out. And if you are freaking out, please watch yesterday's video on how to control your emotions when it comes to trading. That was a very hmm, relaxed Zen TA video on a Sunday morning without funny things, without screaming. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave that comment. What do you think about all these beautiful charts? Are you bullish or are you bearish? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later or tomorrow again, guys. Bye.